hello students welcome back do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that determine the resultant internal loadings on the cross section through point c assume the reactions at the supports a and b are vertical so this problem says that we have to find the internal loadings at the cross section through this point c but the next problem in the book uh, asked to find the internal loadings at D as well. So we are going to solve both of these problems. So the problem statement says that assume that the support reactions at A and B are vertical. So to, to find the internal loadings at the cross section at C, we, we are going to consider this AC segment of the beam. And for the internal loadings at D, we are going to consider BD segment of the beam. So for that, we have to find AX and AY. Uh, sorry, we have to find the uh, vertical reactions at A and B. So, let's say that the support reaction at A is, let's say, AY. And at B, let's say this is BY. So, we must find AY and BY. And to find these support reactions, we must convert this triangular distributed load into the concentrated load. Um, so, if we can replace this uh, distributed load by its corresponding point load and the magnitude of this point load will be equal to the area of this triangle the area of this triangular distributed load so the area of this triangle is 1 divided by 2 this height which is 3 kilonewton per meter 3 kilonewton per meter multiply by this length along which this uh, distributed force is acting. So 1.5 in plus 1.5. So this is 3. So 3 meters. So this cancel out. So 1 divided by 2. So this is 0 0.5 multiply 3 multiply 3. So this is 9 divided by 2 or we can say it's 4.5. So this is equal to 4.5 kilonewton. Meter cancels out and we are left with 4.5 kilonewton. Now, uh, this force which replaces this triangular distributed load must pass through the centroid of this triangle. So the centroid of this triangle is somewhere here. And the distance of this centroid from this particular point B, this distance, this is always equal to two-third of this length so two-third of three and from this end this distance this must be equals to one-third of this length three so from this end this is one meters and from that end this is two meters so let me show that distance as well so this will be equal to two meters so from end B the point load which replaces this distributed load is at a distance of 2 meters. Now to find the support reactions we must apply the sum of the moment about point B that must be equals to 0 counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So as you guys can see that this AY is producing the clockwise moment about point B so I will write minus AY so the moment arm of this AY from that point B is this length of the beam. So the total length of the beam is 1.5 plus 1.53 and this is 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1. So this is 4. So 4 meters. So we will multiply this with 4. Similarly this 6 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about point B. So we will write plus 6 kN. And the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 6 kN force from that point B is this distance which is 4 minus 0.5. So 4 minus 0.5 is 3.5. So this is 3, 3.5. So multiply with 3.5. Similarly, this point load is also producing the counterclockwise moment. So you will write plus. This is 4.5 kN. And the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this force from that point B is 2 meters. So we multiply this with 2 and this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that AY is equal to so this gives us 7.5. So AY is equal to 
प्लस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन सिमिलरली इफ यू अप्लाई द सम ऑफ द फोर्सेज इन दाई दैट मस्ट बी कुछ टू जीरो सो द सम ऑफ द फोर्सेज इन दाई मस्ट बी कुछ टू जीरो अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन इज कंसिडर टू बी पॉजिटिव नाउ वी हैव बी वाई इन दपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो प्लस बी वाई ए वाई इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन ए वाई इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव this 6 kilo newton is in the downward direction and this is in the downward direction. so both are negative so we will write minus 6 and minus 4.5 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that by is equal to minus 7.5 plus 6 plus 4.5 So by is equal to we can say that by is equal to three kilonewton. Now to find the internal loadings uh, at the cross section through point C, we must consider this AC segment. So let me draw the free body diagram. so this will be our free body diagram and at uh, a we have a y support reaction which is equal to 7.5 and somewhere here is that point c so at c we will have the normal internal resultant force this is let's say and c we will have the shear force this is vc and we will have the bending moment mc so we want to find and c mc and vc so we are considering the segment ac and now we must apply the equilibrium conditions again so uh, if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x now we have only nc in the horizontal direction so this means that nc is equal to 0 now the sum of the forces in the y must be equals to 0 upward direction is considered to be positive now ay vc is in the upward direction this vc is in the upward direction so we will write plus vc ay is in the upward direction and this 6 kN is in the downward direction so minus 6 kN this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus 7.5 plus 6 so we see is equal to minus 1.5 kN so the minus sign tells us that we see is actually acting in the downward direction the assumed direction is not accurate but the magnitude is 1.5 kN similarly to find mc we have to apply the sum of the moment about point c so the sum of the moment about point c must be equal to 0 and counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now this mc is counterclockwise moment so we will write plus mc and this this ay is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus ay is 7.5 and the moment arm of this ay from that point c is this distance which is 1 meter and this 6 kN is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 6 and the moment arm of this 6 kN force from that point c is 0.5 so 0.5 and this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that mc is equal to plus 7.5 into 1 minus 6 into 0.5 so 7.5 into 1 is 7.5 minus 6 into 0.5 so this gives us mc equal to 4.5 kN meter and since we got the positive sign this means that mc is in the counterclockwise direction similarly vc is equal to 1.5 kN and it is acting in the downward direction <coughs> so these are the internal loadings at the cross section through point c now to find the internal loadings at the cross section through point d we have to pass a cutting section and then we are going to consider bd segment of the beam so let me draw the free body diagram for that so at b we will have the by support reaction which is equal to 3 kN here at d we will have the normal internal loadings let's see this is nd 
we will have the shear force Vd. And uh, let's say we have the bending moment in the clockwise direction. This is Md. Now, since you guys can see that here we got a, again the triangular distributed load, but uh, in the problem statement, we were given the intensity of the distributed load at point C, which was 3 kN per meter. But now, uh, to find the internal loadings, we must find the intensity at point D, which is 1.5 meters from point B. So let's say that this intensity is at D, the intensity of the distributed load is let's say omega. So we must find this omega first to solve for the internal loading. So how to find this omega? We must compare these two triangles, this triangle and that small triangle. So both of these triangles are similar triangles. We can apply the properties of similar triangles to find that uh, intensity at point D. So the corresponding ratios of uh, the, uh, the ratios of the corresponding sides of a similar triangle is always equal. So if we take the ratio of this omega with this length, that will be equal to this divided by this. So we can say that the omega, the intensity of the load at point D divided by this 1.5 will be equal to that 3 divided by this 3 divided by this 3. So this is equal to 3 and from this we can say that this intensity is equal to 3 divided by 3 is 1 and which is equal to 1.5 kilonewton per meter. So this intensity is 1.5 kilonewton per meter. Now to find the internal loadings, we must replace um, this triangular load by its corresponding uh, point load. So again, that uh, load will be acting somewhere here through the centroid. It will pass. So this will be, and the magnitude of this will be the area of this small triangle now. So the area of this small triangle is 1 divided by 2. This height, which is omega, which is 1.5 multiply by this length. So this is 1.5. So 0 0.5 into 1.5. So this is 9 divided by 8. Let me write it as 9 divided by 8 kilonewton. So now once we do all this uh, and and one another thing is that um, the the distance of this, uh, this this point load from that point B will be this distance will be two third of this 1.5 and from this end this length will be one third of this 1.5 so let me write that this is from here to here this is one third of 1.5 meters so now considering segment BD, the sum of the forces in the X must be equals to zero. So we have only ND in the horizontal direction. So ND is equal to zero. ND is in the negative X. So multiplying both sides by minus sign, ND is equal to zero. Sum of the forces in the Y must be equals to zero. Upward direction is considered to be positive. Now we have VD the internal shear force at the cross section through D is VD. So VD is acting in the upward direction. Now BY is acting in the upward direction. So BY is 3 kilonewton and this point load is acting in the downward direction which is 9 divided by 8. So minus 9 divided by 8. This is equal to 0 and from this we can say that VD is equal to minus 3 plus 9 divided by 8. So minus 3 plus 9 divided by 8. This gives me minus 1.875 Vd is equal to minus 1.875 kilonewton. So the minus sign tells us that Vd is actually acting in the downward direction. Its magnitude is 1.875 kilonewton. 
Similarly, to find MD, we must apply the sum of the moment about point D equals to zero counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now, MD is in the clockwise direction. The assumed direction of MD is in the clockwise direction. So, we will write minus MD. And this BY is producing the counterclockwise moment. So, we will write plus BY is 3 kilonewton. And the moment arm of this 3 kilonewton force from that point D is 1.5. So, we will multiply it with 1.5. And this point load is producing the clockwise moment. So, we will write minus. 9 divided by 8 and the perpendicular distance of this from this point D is this 1 divided by 3 into 1.5 so we will write this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that MD if I bring this MD to the other side so we will be left with this so MD is equal to 3 into 1.5 minus 9 into 1.5 divided by 8 multiply 3 multiply 1 right so this is equal to this is equal to 3.938 approximately kilonewton meter and since we got the positive signs this means that md is in the clockwise direction so md is in the clockwise direction its magnitude is 3.938 kilonewton meter and V D magnitude is we can say that V D magnitude is 1.875 but it is in the downward direction. So this is the solution of uh, these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R C Hibler.